Hello there, my name is Chris Palmer. In today's Google My Business Categories List video, what I wanna go ahead and share with you is yes, the complimentary list you can go and get free of 4,055 categories, but more importantly, I'm going to walk through these categories one by one with you right now, and I'm going to cover a couple of things. What I'm going to cover is going to be what are the easiest for instant verification Two, which ones are going to be the hardest, which ones are spammed to absolute oblivion. I'm also going to go through how hard they are. Are they medium? Have I worked with them before? Is it easy to rank? Is it hard to rank? Can I get instant verification? Is it good for Legion? Is there money there? Right? All the things that matter. I'm going to walk through this, make it fun. But at the end of the day, what I want to give you is this complete list also give you some insight if you're deciding to move into the Google My Business space. You know, what are you looking for? What's hard? What's not? So let's not waste time. Let's get right into it. So the very first thing is this. You can go to seo.chrispalmermarketing.com slash Google My Business categories list or come right over to the website. Go to my seo.chrispalmermarketing.com go to giveaway and then look for the photo right here and get your list. Now let's start going through this list. Now, the first thing that I want to point out, all right, is this, the more the obscurity, all right, this will be tip one weaved into this video. The more the obscure, the particular niches, the category is, the easier it will be for your instant verifications. Yes you can go ahead and verify in a less spammy category and yes you could change it but the chances of triggering a re-verification are very high so what you can tend to do is you can verify within a particular category and then make it your second category then after a long period of time 60 90 days then once you build up some more trust and your spam score goes down what you'll start to realizes that maybe you could make some other prominent changes to NAP slash category details. So that's tip number one is depending on the category is going to greatly, greatly impact your avail your ability to go ahead and do text verification or instant verification. All right. Tip number two, I just mentioned this. So it's spam score depending on your niche. All right. So as we go through this list here, I'm going to point out, is it hard? Is it easy? Is it good for rank and rent? Is it good for lead generation? Have I worked in it before? Was it easy? Was it hard? Right. I'm going to go through what I've done, what I haven't, and try to give as much insight as possible here. But what I really want to say is this, you know, the more the obscure, the easier it is for verification. Also, Spam score greatly impacts your ability to get instant verification. So spam score is going to be determined by, hey, what's the Gmail account? What kind of account are you using? What's the category? What's the phone number attached? What's the website that's attached? There's a, a magnitude of processes that are happening. If you come over here, I'll point this out to you. I'll give you another helpful tip. I know this isn't a verification video, but hey, let me give you what I can here. If you take a look at any business, right? So come on over here and do, let's just say um, plumber. Okay, so plumber, New York, all right? So let's just utilize this as a tip. If you come inside of here, what you're gonna see is this. So once you come inside, or I'm sorry, you're gonna do Google My Business, sign up, okay? And I'm not gonna give, I'm not gonna give it to you on a silver platter, but what you can find out is you can see a lot of these checks. So watch this. So as you come inside of here, we'll get started. You come into your categories, but if you take a look here and you go in here to inspect and you come up here to your sources, all right, inside of your sources, if you take a look inside of here, oh, let's make sure we do one here. If you come inside of here, what you're going to see is some of the scripts that are being ran. All right, let me just find the one that you're looking for. There's some very particular and very interesting uh, verification processes that are happening, all right? So what I would do is I would take your time and take a look at some of these uh, verification processes um, because there's, if you read through the code, what you'll see is there's some companies and some URLs that are attached. Once you can see those companies, then you can do further investigation to figure out, well, what were they working on? What are they checking? 
as a massive tip for you, they are checking the site that's connected. All right. But if you take a look through here, what you'll find is they have a verification. All right. Um, I, I'm not going to waste too much more time on this, um, but have your look through the code. Take a look at the verification inside of here um, and what you will find will be very interesting. What's attached, the URLs that it goes to, who wrote the scripts, who wrote the code, what other stuff have they done? What are they looking at? more importantly, but let's get back on track here. So that's another helpful tip to you though. So that's a tip number two mixed into this video. Three is that spam score. There is a spam score. It all starts with NAP. What's the phone number? What's the Gmail account or the account that you're setting up? What's the industry? What's the niche? What's the category? What other categories are you doing? Where is it located? What other businesses are there? Is there any other businesses there? Do you have, do you have any other accounts under this particular account? Categories are massive in this, but spam score is what holds them all in the container. All right. I think it's a checkbox. It's a service verification process. All right. Let's keep moving on. So with, with all that said, let's go start going through here. I won't go through all 4,055 categories, but what I will do for you is I'm going to start from the very bottom and we're going to go through here briefly. All right. Ones that I've worked in, ones that I know are hard. So yoga studios I've done in the past, I'd say that's about a medium level. All right. Yoga instructors, same thing, medium. Uh, they're not ultra spammed out, uh, but you will run into some trouble depending on where you're going. I've done yachts, right? I've done yacht companies in the Hamptons, amongst other places. Um, it's not the easiest niche. Um, let's keep going here. Um, wine, woman's store. So treatment, Wi-Fi spots. Oh, Wi-Fi spots were great. Do you remember um, for we're getting a whole bunch of citations. If you if you give availability for citations, um, or if you give availability for Wi-Fi, you can sign up at a whole boatload of websites to get citations. I learned this from a guy. Uh, I forget his name off the top of my head, but I thought it was really clever. I did it back probably four years ago by now, uh, but it was a really cool little tactic. But in any case, Wi-Fi hotspots are really interesting. It's always a good addition to add to a GMB is what I'm getting at. Um, it opens you up to a whole plethora of citations and stuff. It's really neat. So in any case, just wanted to point that out. I'm just going through the list here. Uh, wheelchair stores. Um, I have done beds and things in that type of industry. Um, I don't want to make this too long. My main objective was to cover some tips, uh, point out some spammy niches, ones maybe I'd steer away from, maybe uh, also talk about spam score, the categories. I just wanted to give as much information as I possibly could here, but let's keep going through here. Car dealers, you will find trouble. There's little variables. There's different types of cars. If you're a car dealer and you specialize in one type, it's definitely better to niche down as your primary category. You'll have a lot easier success with not only ranking, but also verification. All right. So I've had some, because if you come up here to the top, what you'll see, or if you just come through here, like ABC, I don't know if Chevy has one, I forget, um, like say Chevy or Ford dealer. Um, but let's keep going through here. I don't want to make this video too long. My objective was to give the list, give as much information as possible. I want to look for the worst niches that I've been in. Um, divorce lawyer, that's very hard. Very, I've, I've worked in that niche. That's very difficult. Coming down the list, doctor, Dodge dealer. See here, here's Dodge. So that's one instance for you car dealers out there. Niche it down. Make your primary niche to down. Pick a car, whatever's the best. Go for that. You'll have so much better success ranking. Dude, trust me on this. All right, keep going on this. Dog breeder, dog cafe, dog walker, dog trainer. Never did anything in that particular industry. Oh, donut shop. I did one in Luzerne, Pennsylvania. I worked with them. It was super easy. I, I walked right through that. Super easy. They've been in business forever. It was not hard at all. Uh, drug stores, same exact thing. Um, uh... So here we go, contractors. So these contractor types and these abbreviations, right? So general contractor um, and contracting is definitely a lead generation. You will run into more trouble. The broader you go, the, not only the higher the competition, 
but the higher the spam score. So again, this goes with drywall contractor. It's a specific type of contractor, still considered a spammy type niche. However, I think that you'll have a lot better success ranking and also verifying. All right. So we'll just keep going down the list here. Um, I'll just point out a couple more, but again, you can look at the list. You can make your decisions. This is another massive point that I want to give you niche down, niche it down. If you're in a big primary that, you know, spammy, you can niche it down. You can find a lot easier success ranking, staying ranked, less competition, and the spam scores way lower. You might even get lucky verifying. So I'm not going to spend any more time. I wanted to give those tips about spam score niching down. I also wanted to give the tips on as far as, Hey, here's the list. Here's where you can go and get it. Places I've worked in things that I've done. I just wanted to give as much value as possible. My name's Chris Palmer. If you want the list, you know where it's at. It's at SEO Chris Palmer marketing. It's on the giveaway page. If you have any questions about this video, any other video, if there's anything that I can help you with, ask in the section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next Google My Business categories video. Have a wonderful day.